to make sure that like, the list that it pops up are like pretty has a pretty decent like revenue sales and everything and like um so uh my list i have like a list of like a hundred and i'm not sure if i should i should just keep going for huh a hundred in the sheet yeah um fuck yeah dude <laughs> thank you uh but yeah so i, I haven't really dived I, some some products i'll like dive in deeper to see like what the you know just dive in deeper but like uh i haven't really I'm, sh I'm just casting a wide net and like so a lot of these ones on my sheet are ones with like with the filters and the I found through the filters, so like, on, like how much revenue, how many sales a month, stuff like that. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, you're on the right track. Oh, you're putting shit I on had the sheet. A question right. because some stuff yeah. that I find that's like, it would show me their sales statistics, and then I'll click on the product, and it'll have like two reviews. Is is, is hmm. that like I'm I'm just confused about like those kind of products because a lot of those products I found were. I would click on the product and it would have like two reviews and I was like, okay, well, this doesn't make sense because it says here it's making like, you know, a lot of money. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's tricky. The first thing that comes to mind is they just launched and they just did a bunch of uh, freebie giveaways. And so that's tricking the algorithm into thinking that they're doing that volume all the time. Okay. So um, I would say that's artificial. Uh, that's an artificial number because they just did some giveaways. Uh, so they just got a bunch of sales um, because I'm not hundred percent sure how the jungle scout algorithm works, but um, um, I think it's based on strictly their bestseller rank. Not sure. Um, so if they just did a bunch of giveaways, then their bestseller rank is, is really Hi. good right now. Yeah. So, so keep that in mind. Um, and I think the other way that they do it, but I'm not sure is you can actually see, well, at least a few years ago, you can actually see how much stock an item has. You just order it and you put in 999 units and then you click order and it will say, sorry, we can only send you 371. And now you know they have 371 only in stock. Yeah. And I think I remember some tools actually used this to, ca to calculate exact stock numbers. And then they can do that every day to see how the stock goes down every day. And then they, from that, they can track daily sales volume. Oh. Um, but, but that's only if they have less than a thousand in stock. So some of these real popular items, they can't determine that. So anyway, that's just my, uh, my background knowledge on how they calculate that. But um, yeah, if it's got two reviews and it's making tons of money, that's obviously inflated. Um, so are you uh, like, are you done adding numbers or adding new products to the spreadsheet? Now you're going through the hundred list from the spreadsheet and you're kind of doing more deep dive. No, right now I'm just, I'm doing, I'm just going to finish up because I, I took a hundred, so I'm just going to finish 150 and then uh, go deep dive. But I've okay. highlighted some, I've highlighted some, that are some like in green and yellow and red, which ones are like just basic, like just ones I just want to keep an eye on and like dive deeper into. Uh, okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Um, I like it. I like it. Um, I think you're going to qualify for being on our podcast already. Cause you're already far in the lead and Payne won't be happy about that. He's uh, um, he's like, whenever you do a podcast, whenever you do a podcast, let's get these, <laughs> let's get these case studies. Let's interview some students. Um, cool. So we'll, uh, we'll let you know about that. Um, we'll kind of do a little um, interview about, you know, product research as someone is into it and we'll kind of pick your brain uh, deeper. Cause I'm sure, you know, <laughs> as everyone knows on this call, it's, uh, it's uh it's tricky so we'll we'll kind of pick your brain about how you've been able to go so fast um and i guess on this call yeah how have you been able to, to go so fast yes yeah, so again it's I'm, i use a lot of the filters and i and I, ex, I exclude keywords so if i'm going through what's going through what you guys say like just look into my eyes if i notice a lot of products constantly showing up that i don't like let's say nike and then i would put it in exclude keywords in nike and then I'll keep doing that. And I can now have these giant list of keywords that I don't, products I don't want. And now it's like, uh, I keep doing, excluding all these keywords. Um, my list is like, um, I have 
I have like bandanas, pants, charger, battery, sneaker, 3M, Amazon, knife, like keywords like that. And I have this giant list of keywords that I want to exclude in my search. And so now it's like when I have all these other filters, I have all these other filters too because um, I have all these other filters too. So I, I'm just seeing like really good, high value products and yeah. Okay, cool. So you're talking about the, um, the Jungle Scout, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, so I so, use those filters like I put like a minimum, I put like revenue, a certain amount of sales a month, I'll put reviews. And w the one, one trick that I use is like I would put uh, max, max stars is 3.9 just because I want to look at products where I can kind of improve a lot on. Like that's making oh. a lot of sales, but I can improve a lot on. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, max rating. Okay, so you can put in 3.9 right there. And then these excluded keywords you're putting in. Nike, like um, Under Armour. Okay. Uh, okay. Elastic, knife, uh, battery, charger, mask, USB. I have like a just giant list of keywords that I've saved in. Okay. So because you don't want to see electronics, okay, got it. So you yeah. put in some electronics words, um, USB, USB C, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. Okay. And are you going just one category at a time? I'm, I'm honestly just, I don't even, what, like my skills, I don't even use any category. I just use strictly filters. Um, okay. And if you look at load, load filter set, if you look at load filter set, uh, not up there, up to the right, top right. Oh. Click that and it's going to be a, right there, high, high and low competition section. You can load those selections and then filter those selections. Oh yeah, shit, duh, why would you not? <laughs> nice. Nice, I didn't know about that. Um, okay. 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 Nice. Putting jungle scout to use. Uh, uh, and I would also recommend remind you guys like to be careful because the, the rankings are skewed right now. So you're going to have products like elastic bands, puzzles, uh, and all those kind of like masks and all those quarantine stuff like that's going to be. Yeah. Okay. So you can select all categories and you can go ahead and unclick the ones that you don't want. So you could unclick electronics there. You could unclick video games. Uh, anything that doesn't make sense. Music, you know, um, Kindle. Um, okay, and then search again. So, you know, minimum, max rating. Okay, 3.9. Um, weight sellers LQS. Hmm. Uh, Do you know what LQS is? Nah, I I use um for minimum. Let me, let me look at my price. Fifty. Yeah, look over price. it. It says what it was. It's I think it's their rating that they created. Oh, like I, something I do. something score. Mm -hmm. Minimum three hundred sales a, a month and uh, minimum revenue ten thousand. So it can be like. Nice. Minimum reviews, max reviews. I put I put max reviews two hundred just to see you know just okay. ones I can jump in. But yeah. Um. So I'm gonna kind of unselect clothing, shoes, and jewelry. And um, okay. Okay, so sports and outdoors that we don't want to see caps. Okay, so you want to see products that are kind of, um, what is this, arse crafts and sewing. Okay, cool. And then you've gone through, are you going like hundreds of pages deep here or how deep do you typically go? So what I keep doing is I, I, I just keep going and then if I continuously see keywords that I don't want to see, I, I just add it to my exclude keywords list and I just, I have this giant list of exclude keywords. So it's like that, that 20,000 products just really comes down to like, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 parks. And those are the really good ones. And so I'm just like clicking through and okay. looking through them. Nice, nice. Um, nice, would you be open to share that excluded list of keywords? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, because I know, I know exactly what you mean um, with this. Uh, just like get that out of there, get that out of there. Um, things that you know don't make sense that you want to avoid. Um, okay, cool, cool. Good I'll stuff. I'll post it in the stuff. Facebook stuff. Facebook group yeah. right now. Okay, awesome. Cool, good work, good work. Um, 
Ooh, what else? What else? Um, <clears throat> hey, man, what's up? You guys hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Okay. So I've been taking some notes. Nice, thanks, man. Uh, just taking some notes while you guys were talking. Uh, just to like, address those, those points. Javier, when you said that all products are similar, um, one way to go over that is uh, just... Uh, Look under the reviews, uh, read the negative ones, anything under three star until you see what people are complaining, until you see a pattern of three or four most common uh, complaints and then see how you can uh, can fix those and and, uh, and approach the factories for that. That's yeah. one way. Thank uh, you. No problem. Another thing that you can, that's for all of you guys to um, to increase the value because if most products are the same, even if you try to differentiate it, it's not going to be easy, but one way that's very easy, not expensive, but has a very high perceived value is if you can add like, like a bonus, like say uh, a guide, a video, anything that uh, some information on how to use your product, how to make the best of it. That's something that you can easily either find online yourself. You can curate videos on that online. You can just go to one of those PLR, private label uh, rights website. You can get for free or even for very cheap, like for less than three, three to $5 as a guide. And you can just add that as a as a bonus to your to your product. That's gonna really set you apart. And uh, when someone is looking for a product and they see like twenty five people selling the same thing, when they see someone that has the same product but also a guide, uh, or a bonus, or a video, whatever, or even like uh, I don't know, something to help them to better understand or better use the product. Of course, that's gonna have a higher perceived value. That's something very easy that you, you guys can can can. Uh, can put on your product that's number one and uh, what else uh, Abe you mentioned that um, sometimes it's not easy to, to find what is the right keyword for a specific product I was just listening to a podcast earlier today and uh, the lady is doing over five million dollars a year uh, an Australian lady and she was saying that whenever there's a product a new product that she's looking at she doesn't even bother going on Jungle Scout or Amazon she just for example she takes she looks at the product she just uh, asks 10, 10 people she knows, hey, look at this product. What would be the, the, the keyword you would use yourself to find this product on Amazon? This way you get the actual keyword that actual people will be looking for, not what the computer, whatever would tell you. And that's something that if a high seven figure seller is using to good, good use, that's something that doesn't cost us any, any money or any time, just you know, give us extra feedback directly from the market, from the people, from potential customers. So keep that in mind, guys. Just ask 10 people that you know or even online, send them a picture of the product. Hey, what is the first uh, word that comes to mind to describe this product? What, what keyword would you use to, uh, to search this product? That's something very useful that you can always implement. Yeah, uh, that's nice. Another thing, Gray Sand, you mentioned that you're stuck on uh, looking for, uh, for products or keywords. And, uh, a good thing to do is when you go on... When, when you guys go on Amazon on the search bar, you can, um, you can just enter any letter, A, B, C, D, whatever, or just the, if it's a long tail keyword, just enter the third, first word. And then Amazon will give you a list of, uh, of, of uh, the highest uh, performing keywords, most search words. That's a good way for you to, uh, to get new ideas and you can just uh, write them down and do research on each of them individually after. That's a great way to get some new ideas, new, new keywords straight from Amazon. So keep that in mind, guys. And um, thank you. No problem. And and speaking, I was just about to mention a point you mentioned, Grace Ann, that uh, you're looking to do a bundle again for for a bundle. Just add some some uh, some information product to it. Like you can, I will, I will also post that on, about that on the on the Facebook group. Just go on, uh, do a search for a private label right or PLR products plus your keyword. For example, your, in your case, let's say it's coffee or, uh, or uh, makeup, just to make up PLR, makeup plus PLR or uh, coffee plus PLR. And you can find a list of uh, those sites that sell those, those ebooks, those guys, those videos. You can have free ones, but the one that costs money, like it costs less than five, five to $10. Once you buy them, you have full right to use them and, and give them for free as, as a bonus. And that's a no brainer. That's going to allow you to increase the value, perceived value of your, of your product, of your listing compared to to the competition nice keep that in mind what does a plr stand for again 
private label rights. Oh. I will post that on the Facebook group. I'm just making a note. I'll, I'll, I'll post that on the, on the group. That's something very common that every, I mean, everyone should be doing. Uh, nice. Um, I forgot which one mentioned that uh, if one supplier asked a mold, uh, if, for, for those of us that are just starting, you don't need to, uh, to invest in a mold that's going to cost a lot of money. If the factory tells you that they need a mold, that's okay. Thank them and just go for another factory. To search another factory because I'm sure that even if you approach 10 factories, even if eight tells you that you, you need a mold, the ninth one will tell you, hey, we can do it. We already have the mold and just go with them. So uh, just because someone tells you they need a mold doesn't mean you cannot get it done. That's one yep. thing also. I've got uh, lots of else? suppliers. Oh, uh, also you guys mentioned that for some products, uh, they may have a high volume of sales but low uh, number of, of reviews. Riley mentioned it might be because they're doing a lot of giveaways or something, but also a lot of products that people do not like to, to leave reviews, especially if the products that you don't want people to know about. For example, I know a guy is selling sex toys. He's selling like $50,000 a month and he has like, at his best seller is like two or three, uh, you know, review because people do not want to leave reviews on those, you know? So, that's just an example, for example, knives or anything, any product that you don't want people to know about, you're not going to leave a review. So that, that can also be something to keep in mind as well. Um, on, on that topic, I, 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 when I, with doing my method, I see a lot of dildos and a lot of sex toys, and it really got me considering going into dildos. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you have to if you want to go, dildos. I do know uh, a couple of factories that in uh, uh, Guangdong. I know the people working there. I oh, visited no. a factory. Home of They're, the dildo factories. Seriously, some guys are, I know one guy, don't laugh guys, uh, Canadian guy from Vancouver, um, he's selling like almost $3 million per year between Amazon and his website, just condoms. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. I mean, those items, I mean, they sell, people hey, need man, it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna message you, direct, I'm gonna direct message you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, what else? Um, Good tips, good tips. Um, oh, Brandon, question for you. You mentioned yeah. that uh, you have uh, a list of 100 products. Are they just in one category? Have you made uh, one for, for example, for the for kitchen, one for household, one for uh, garden, one for office, and mm. so on and so forth? No, they're scattered, but I've, I've highlighted some where I've like, you know, these could like, you know, like you said, going to a specific niche and selling to one, selling to one like audience or like, you know, like dog lovers or something like I, I've highlighted them the same color. Like, Hey, I'm noticing these other parks that are kind of coming up a lot and they're in a similar, very kind of niche. Okay. I say good. That's good. That's a good idea. Yeah. And you can just take, um, just a uh, short list from that. And also, uh, uh, one of you guys uh, asked, what is SLQ? Uh, basically, that means, uh, what is it? What is it? I just wrote this down. L LQS, listing quality score, because Amazon, uh, uh, you know, gives a score for each listing based on how optimized the listing are, how the quality of the product and description, all that. And they give it a uh, score uh, out of uh, five, I believe. So that's what LQS means. Thank you. Um, Brandon, have you used the uh, opportunity finder on Jungle Scout? This looks like where it's um, it's it's uh, searching for keyword opportunities, not products. No, I haven't yet. I haven't. Um, okay. Cool. But I I, I have noticed like. But I'm, a lot of the products I'm finding on, on the, they'll, they'll, it'll still they'll say that it's selling a lot. But when I click and type in the keywords, like it'll say high demand, high high search value, high high demand, high high competition. Uh, so I'm trying to find like if there what specific keyword that product is ranking for, because it's, even though it's like not as, it's not it doesn't have as many reviews or it's in this really competitive niche. There's a keyword that it ranks for that it's ranking for that's getting them a lot of sales. I think that's what's mm -hmm. going on. So I'm trying to yeah. figure out the key. Yeah, trying to find that that keyword that they're crushing for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pocket hand sanitizer, doing pretty good. Hand sanitizer spray, Purell, alcohol right. sanitizer. <laughs> it's all, all of the top keywords are. 
having to do with that right now on the uh, keyword opportunity finder. Um, anyway, okay, what else? Um, any other questions, guys? <clears throat> okay, what's okay, the so what's the homework? What, what's for next week? What, what do we got to do for next week's uh, before next week's mastermind? Surprise! Oh, really? <laughs> still can't. <laughs> or just just narrow narrow down our list. Yeah. So like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're coming into the end of week two now. Um, so Sunday will be the start of week three. And um, yeah, week three, everyone should have a good list of product ideas in the spreadsheet. Um, you know, <clears throat> week, th week three is okay to still be adding products to the spreadsheet um, because I, I typically say product research should be you know, three to four weeks. So, um, so yeah, so it depends where you're at. You know, some people will go faster than others. You know, Brandon's going, you know, really fast, fast speed. Um, but, um, at the end of, at the end of month one, um, I want everyone to be, uh, to be narrowing it down to their top five, top 10 ideas. And then we start talking about, okay, time to start choosing. So, um, so yeah, two more weeks to go. And at the, at the end of month one, I want everyone to be, uh, either, chosen or close to chosen and then starting to um, reach out to suppliers to order samples so um, as far as exact assignment um, for uh, for next week uh, I forget if there is one in the course or, or the checklist uh, but we'll we'll be sure to remind you guys and when it comes down time to uh, contact suppliers, uh, the course already has lots of information from it. And also yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw it, I posted uh, a guide that I wrote. I spent all day on Monday just putting, uh, collecting my, my thought from my experience of living in China for five years, going, meet, going to countless factories, events, fairs, exhibitions, uh, hosting and organizing events, even speaking at events in China on Amazon, uh, FBA and e-commerce. So highly recommend you guys to go through that. It's a 10 page document. Um, it's really, really, really uh, gives you tons of great ideas from actual uh, real life experience. Uh, so highly recommend you guys go through that, spend an hour, just print it or review it. Just go over that because this will, these tips will give you, will make your experience with, with the Chinese suppliers. It's going to determine whether it's going to be a good one, a fun, productive one or a frustrating and a negative one because you have to approach them the right way. Nice. Yeah. Um, awesome. We'll, we'll make sure to add that to the course area as well. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, thanks for that. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So um, yeah, in general, you know, we're uh, two weeks is down. Heading into week three, we're right in the thick of product research. Um, over the next two weeks is pretty much the same thing, just getting down and dirty with product research. And um, hopefully uh, at the end of week four, everyone can be um, pretty much chosen their product and uh, going into uh, ordering samples. And uh, that being said, you. If, you, if you're still on the fence between a few ideas, you can order samples for all those ideas as well. And then make your final decision um, after you re receive the samples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what else, what else, what else? There's some great news that we can let them know about, Riley. You wanna let mm -hmm. them know? First of all, the podcast, that's something I'm very excited. We're gonna do a weekly podcast, uh, basically inviting one of, I mean, one of, each week, someone from the team to uh, share the experience, also hear your story and just showcase you guys because the course is not about us, it's about you. As we said in the, in the webinar, we're not selling courses, we're trying to, we collect, we're collecting success stories. Uh, you are the reason that we have this thing is 
we want to get results for you. We, we uh, purposely kept this group to a small number because we wanted to be, to be sure that we can actually give you the best service we can do so you can you guys can can achieve the result the premise of this course which is the 90 days even as a newbie to get a product launched uh following our step-by-step -step proven uh blueprint so that's what we want that's number one number two we're talking with we're talking with riley the other day that uh, we want to bring you world-class expert on each specific uh, uh area of amazon business whether it's uh, branding logistics sourcing uh, optimization, listing, whatever, PPC, we will be doing webinars with actual world-class experts. People are doing six, seven, eight figure on Amazon. And we already have one lined up for next week. I'm very excited about that. It's, uh, she's a good friend of mine. She's an engine lady living in Singapore. She, for those of you that know, she's uh, the organizer, organizer of the Global Source uh, Summit in Hong Kong. Good friend of mine. I was living in Hong Kong. I know her and, uh, She's been organizing uh, uh, sourcing trips to India. So right now, with what's going on in the world, China, we're not sure how long it's still going to be a viable option, but it's always good to be to have other alternatives. And India is, is showing to become a tremendous opportunity because China is great, but a lot of products that you cannot get in China, but you can get in India. And also, that's another way for us to differentiate ourselves from 99% of other sellers are all sourcing from China and they're getting all the same kind of products. But if you go to India, you will have a completely different product. It's still untapped. Not many people going to India. And uh, we will be bringing her to a podcast next week where she's going to introduce to us the, opportunity, the incredible opportunities to uh, source from, some, from India. And that's something I'm extremely excited. And uh, I was talking with Riley the other day. Even thinking of doing a um, case study of launching our product ourselves uh, and then probably going to do it myself and um, I'm hesitating right now between whether to source it from China. For me, the easiest thing to do with is to source it from China because I lived in China for five years. I have tons of connections, but I also want to use this opportunity to source a product from a new market like India and then document the entire process with you guys and also on the blog and, and podcast. And that's something that I'm extremely excited about that. Just gonna still uh, think about, uh, I'm gonna start probably doing product research maybe next week or sometime this week. But that's something I'm really excited about talking with Riley the other day. And that's something that's gonna be very beneficial for you guys. And we're gonna be um, bringing each week um, or at least once every two weeks, a world-class expert, an expert in a specific area of Amazon FBA. And if you guys have any suggestions, or if you know any, high profile person on the Amazon uh, scene that you would like us to try to bring. You can always suggest it and we'll try to reach out. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Looking forward to, to that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so she wants to do it next week? Uh, the Indian lady, yes. Uh, cool. She said next, uh, next Thursday, um, 10 a.m. Singapore time, which is... Uh, I believe nine, uh, what is it? 10 a.m. Uh, my time here in, on the East Coast. Cool, all right, yeah, cool, sounds good. Um, keep them coming, get some more content out there. Um, and uh, yeah, any other final questions, guys? Javier, are you good? I'm good, I was. Cool, good, you're on the right track. White, you good? Good. All right, Jess, you good? Good. Feeling good? Hey, mm -hmm. feeling good? Estás bien? Yep. Feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Uh, Grace Ann, you good? Any more questions? Okay, cool. Thumbs up. Um, Brandon, all right. Um, I know you're doing good. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And um, all right, yeah, keep, as always, keep uh, posting your questions in the group chat. Um, or the Facebook group and uh, yeah you guys are all pretty much on the right track just keep chugging with product research and um, yeah we'll uh, we'll talk next week I just have one question uh, hey you, you're living in Mexico right correct uh, I would be I would be very curious to know if uh, what is the sourcing options in Mexico do you have any contacts on that I do not have sourcing contacts right now. Okay. Um, 
but I imagine, I mean, the industry is huge. I mean, sure. they, there are a lot of factories here. Mm-hmm. I just haven't really investigated it. And it's something I mentioned before where I was also thinking about possibly using, well, not you in the future, like using like a Mexican factory or something. Yeah, that would be amazing yeah. because that would make things so much easier, faster, cheaper. For yeah. Us. <laughs> You wouldn't have to pay those big extravagant fees for shipping and stuff like that. No uh, language barrier or anything like that. Cultural barriers. It's just, you know, so much more easier. That's why a lot of people right now are are looking for sourcing alternatives to China. Yeah. I mean, uh, on Alibaba, can't you like filter by country? I wonder if they... You can, but uh, 99% of the uh, suppliers are from China. And even if you do select non-china they still bring you china because hey, it's a chinese platform they want to you know promote their own businesses yeah. and speaking of that speaking of alibaba when you guys start looking for for suppliers uh yes alibaba is the main platform to look for suppliers but do not sleep on global sources global is also very big tons of suppliers and actually the vetting process on uh, on uh, global sources a lot stricter than on Alibaba because when you go to Alibaba, you see factories with uh, bold signs or whatever, and that gives them some kind of authority. But keep in mind, those those signs, those badges, they're for sale. So all they have to do is just spend 5,000 RMB, which is like $800, and for a factory, that's peanuts, you know, and they get the gold star. And, and the vetting on, on Alibaba, it's getting a lot better than the past, but it's nowhere near as strict as on, on, on global sources. And there's a tons of uh, very high quality factories. Actually, the best factories are on both Alibaba and Global Sources. So uh, also do not uh, ignore Global Sources because it's a tremendous platform as well. Awesome. And Global Sources has a lot of factories from from other countries as well, not <sighs> Alibaba, because Global Sources is uh, is not is not per se 100% Chinese. It's half Hong Kong, half American. And the other part is Chinese, so you have a lot of, a lot of you know overseas suppliers on on global sources. Nice, good tip. And good actually, tip. that's something we can ask the Indian lady because she was the organizer of the Global Source Summit in Hong Kong. And yeah, well, speaking of that, if you guys have any questions regarding the uh, sourcing from India, post in the Facebook group, and we can ask the lady. And uh, you guys are welcome to attend the webinar next uh, Thursday, I believe. We'll, we'll post the details on the group because it would be awesome for you guys to be live and, and ask because she will be doing the presentation and at the end she will have a Q&A. So if you guys have any question, this is the time to ask her. She's very helpful and super knowledgeable. Nice. And she's herself a seven-figure seller on Amazon. So. Fuck yeah. Um, nice, nice. All right. We're uh, past an hour here, so we'll wrap it up um yeah good shit guys keep it up keep up the good work everyone and uh yeah talk to you in the chat and uh see you next week bye bye thank you